laughter. What is this crazy thing? Have you ever stopped to think about why we make this weird and wonderful noise that makes us all feel so great? From loud chuckles to guffaws to shrieks to the silent giggles. We all have it. We all do it. No one's excluded. It's a gift given to every single human being on the planet. From the age of six weeks old, every single baby starts to smile. And at two or three months, every single baby starts to giggle. They giggle before they can talk, before they can walk, before they can even understand language. Why? It's not an accident. There is nothing on the human body that is given to us by accident. We have ears for a reason. We have a nose for a reason. So why is it that we laugh? What is so essential about laughter to human existence? Well, today, I'm going to help you uncover this magical secret. The secret that there is so simple, but has the power in an instant to change your life. As Mark Twain said, human beings have one weapon, and that is laughter. Now, in order to understand what this weapon is and how magical and powerful it is for all of us, all we have to do is look around us. Stress, anxiety, fear, depression, the inability to cope with life's challenges are just a sample of the emotions that people are experiencing around the world. But life is meant to be a gift. Life is beautiful. And how do we do that when we are so full of stress and worry? We know that when we are stressed, it affects our mood. It makes us tired. It makes us lethargic. It affects our ability to interact positively with other people. And where exactly is this stress? Is it at work? Is it at home? No, of course not. Our stress is here. It's within us, right now with you, within each and every one of us. And the big problem that we all make, or many of us, is when we look for solutions to life's problems, when we look for ways to help us deal with our stress, we look outside of ourselves. But the truth, the weapon, the magic, is that it lies within us. Life has challenges and problems will occur. And as much as we want them to go away, many times there's nothing we can do. But what we can do is choose the way we react to them. And ultimately, the way we react will determine what shows up for us in our world. I'd like to use the story of the rain to paint a picture for you. Once it starts raining outside, is there anything you can do about it? No. Can you stop the rain? No. There is not a thing that any of the nearly 8 billion people on this planet can do to stop the rain. But what you can do is get yourself a raincoat or even an umbrella. So ladies and gentlemen, the rain are the challenges in our lives. The magical weapon we have is our umbrella. Now, I know for many skeptics, you may be sitting here thinking, this is ridiculous. How can something as silly and stupid as laughter help us find a cure for life's challenges? Well, that's what we're going to uncover today. And the secret about it is that when we are stressed, our brains release stress chemicals. These are things like cortisol and adrenaline. They flood our system and they weaken our immune system. The World Health Organization has said that as much as 80% of disease that exists in the world today is caused by stress. But here's the thing. When we laugh, magic happens. Our brains release chemicals that have the ability to reverse these stress hormones. Chemicals like endorphins, our body's natural painkillers, my all-time favorite, opiates, a direct chemical cousin to the drug opium, 
and it's available to us any time we want it, any place we want it. And all we have to do to access it is to force ourselves to laugh. So why do I say force? Well, if I asked many of you sitting here today how many times you had a huge belly laugh, the answer would probably be a huge zero. Sometimes we chuckle. And the truth is, when we turn on the TV, when we listen to the news, it's usually bad. It's usually negative, And it usually puts us in fear. If we had to use jokes or comedy to laugh, well, what happens is the first time a joke is really funny. The second time you hear the same joke, maybe you'll giggle a little. And by the third, maybe you'll just smile. So we've got to use this as a tool to create our happiness. And what you're all going to say is, well, if I'm going to do anything, I want to know W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? If I'm going to do anything, I want to know what's in it for me. Why should I do it? So the truth is, we know that Stanford University has done amazing studies where they've proven that two minutes of a hearty belly laugh has the same cardiovascular effect as 10 minutes on an exercise bike in a gym. We know after a hearty belly laugh, our blood pressure is reduced. We know that our muscles relax. We know that our brains get oxygenated so we can think more clearly. But best of all, we know we feel awesome. Okay, so the key is, how do we do it? We force ourselves to do it. We know we need to do it. How do we do it? Well, we fake it. <laughs> now, I know that sounds crazy too, but Dr. Kataria, a medical doctor in India, proved that the body cannot tell the difference between real and fake laughter. So whether you're laughing for a funny joke or you're laughing because you're faking it, the brain can't tell the difference. But what does happen is that all these amazing feel-good chemicals flood our system. And what happens to us? We feel awesome. Now again, those skeptics sitting there thinking this is crazy. I'd like to share a very personal story that really will give you an idea of how you can use this in your everyday lives. Because many people say, well, it's inauthentic. It's crazy. I can't walk around laughing at serious things. And that's not what it's about. It's not about laughing at our problems. It's about laughing to help us get through them. And we're supposed to use this every single day in the same way that we'd go to gym because it's good for our physical body. We need to laugh for five minutes a day because it's amazing for our emotional and spiritual body. So in January this year, my beautiful mother was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer and I was hysterical. A few months later, she had to have a biopsy and major surgery. Coincidentally, or not, I was scheduled to do an hour's corporate laughter session. How was I going to do this? At the exact time they were taking my mom into surgery, I had to go and laugh. I was hysterical. I had no idea how I was going to get through that. The night before the surgery, we were sitting having dinner, and I said to my family, I think God's playing a sick joke on me. How does he expect me to do this? How am I supposed to go and stand in front of all these people and laugh with hundreds of people while I know that my mom's having surgery? To which my 17-year-old son replied, Mom, God's not playing a sick joke. If you're going to stand up and tell people that they need to use this as a tool no matter what they're going through, no matter what their challenges are, so that they can feel strong and together and think clearly and be calm, then you have to live what you teach. And so I did. And my mom went into theatre and I went to laugh with hundreds of people. And at the end of the session, Instead of being frazzled and stressed and anxious, 
I felt calm. I felt together. And I was able to go to the hospital afterwards and be a support for my mom. And thank God my mom was okay. So I'm standing here today saying to all of you, don't fake it till you make it. Fake it till you become it. Because this tool is so magical and so powerful. It has the magic to change your life. Now, in the beginning, I told you I was going to share this weapon with you. So now I'm going to show you how we do it. And I'm going to get you to laugh with me. I'm going to get you to feel what this rush of endorphins feels like so that you can go into your weekend feeling awesome and have the tools to cope with your life no matter what it is you are going through. We do this with playful childlike exercises. So one of them is called cell phone laughter. What we do is we start to smile. So if you can smile with me. And then we take our pretend cell phones and put it to our ears. Now the only thing you have to remember is that the louder you laugh, the harder you laugh, the more chemicals get flooded into your system. So on the count of three, we're going to pretend that we are having the funniest conversation we've ever had. You can use your arms, you can slap your knee, you can make signs. Feel free to go ahead and laugh as loud as you can. On the count of three, ready, one, two, three. <laughs> laughter. Live your life and laugh every day. Thank you. Thank you.